All right, so I've been hiking the long trail for the last couple days and been playing around with the Hover Air X1. <laughs> It's a really cool, just tiny little drone. And you should actually think of this as more of like a, your personal little camera assistant rather than a drone because you can't really fly it, um, you know, as you control a drone. It has these pre-programmed patterns. And I think there is a, re a way to program your own custom pattern, but I haven't been using it. Basically, this is not a drone like a DJI where you're gonna be flying it around and filming, whatever, this is gonna be a drone. It's AI controlled and it tracks you, the person, and has these pre-programmed uh, patterns. And then it does, it just flies those patterns. And the really cool thing about this is, this is 150 grams. So this fits right inside my fanny pack. Like that's how small it is, right? So very small compact drone, folds out. And the battery life has been actually really good. Um, I've been using, you know, the one battery with it, with an extra battery, and we've been out for three days, and I've gone through about both batteries now and filmed, you know, a decent amount. So let's see. So here's how it works. So you turn it on, and then a little green light comes on, the little camera does this thing, and then you have all these different modes up top, and it'll talk to you. Current mode. So you can do the different modes. Follow. I've been using follow a lot. Orbit. Orbit, so it does an orbit around you. Bird eye. Bird's eye, so it goes straight up and then films beneath. Hover, and so within these modes, if you do um, hold it for a second, 30 seconds. So hover. It'll, it'll tell you, you know, there's different modes within these modes, and then there's an app where you can do even more modes. You just press the button again, and you hold, hold it next to you, and then it'll start hovering. And I can just use my USB-C cord, pull the video file straight over to my phone and edit it like right there same day. So that's all really super convenient. It shoots in 2.7K, um, actually pretty decent video quality. And then you can do 1080p, uh, 120 frames per second. So you can do uh, decent slow motion with that as well. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, it's been super handy to just have this and be able to get like much more diverse shots um, with, you know, this 150 grams. That's really, really nothing at all. That is so, fun. that is so adorable. That's so cute. It's just like a pro, an automatic program. Yeah. Because it is 150 grams, it doesn't fall under a lot of the FAA regulations. So if a drone is over 250 grams, you got to register it and do all of that. So because it's under 250, this doesn't need to be registered. Um, none of that stuff. You do still have to follow all the other regulations. So like on the Appalachian Trail, there's a thousand foot corridor along the entire trail. You can't fly a drone. So you can't fly it on the Appalachian Trail. You know, you can't fly it in wilderness areas. You can't fly it in national parks. But out here on the long trail, you know, we're just in uh, these, really, these are ski resorts. Every, at the top of every mountain is a ski resort. So, um, you know, it's legal to fly out here. And just you gotta be aware of all the other rules, like you can't fly it over crowds of people, stuff like that. But, because you don't really, you know, you're not flying this, you set it for um, whatever and then let it go. And it's, um, you know, you definitely hear it, so I've been trying to use it just 
around the boys, not around anybody else. And just got, got to be mindful of all of those things. But um, with all that in mind, like this is, it really lends a lot of uh, new creative options for shooting video and really dramatically increases my options for filmmaking or you know making videos out here. So this shot, I'm not flying the drone at all. It's just following me with the AI technology and that makes it really handy because, you know, I don't have to set up anything. I can just let it go and it follows. It really is perfect for like solo filmmaking because you don't need to pilot it. You just set the mode and then let it go. And then you can do your thing. Like try to not fall down this freaking rock face. <laughs> and uh, yeah. It's awesome. I really like the drone. Long trail is pretty cool. It's pretty hard, but it's pretty cool. See some of the drone shots from today. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's, That's really pretty cool. sick. I would carry if I if I had to choose I would carry like this and a phone like those two pieces of gear would give you an incredible diverse variety of shots even more than like my DSLR that I'm shooting on right now like that gives me higher quality images but the images are still kind of static you know it's handheld um, it's set on a tripod somewhere um, it's a very different kind of shot than you know like this going up 10 feet um, shooting over me or doing an orbit on top of a cool uh, lookout you know it's a very different type of shot so yeah I'm I'm really impressed with it um, I'm gonna play around with it more like next year probably on the PCT CDT somewhere um, love to take it like out on the Arizona Trail um, out in Utah so just uh, yeah I think this really um, like bang for the buck and just weight wise like you know uh, it's hard to justify even a DJI Mini 3, it's one and a half pounds, um, but this is 150 grams. That's it, tiny, tiny little thing. So uh, I think definitely worth checking out.